Um, good evening, friends. My name is Rabbi Juana Cantor, and I'm the director of the Women's Jewish Learning Center, who together with the Board of Rabbis of Greater Phoenix, put this evening together. And I first want to share with you what we don't want to happen as a result of this evening, and then what we do want to accomplish tonight. The result of tonight's event should not be the condemnation of a particular segment of the Jewish community. We support their freedom to shape their own religious lives as they see fit. So tonight is not about condemning the Haredi or Haredi Judaism. And I, I do want to say that uh, there was some language in some of the publicity that was sent out that was, um, that was not consistent with what we're going to say tonight. Um, and that's why I wanted to begin with what this night is not about. What we're here to do is to explain the specific events that brought us together tonight and to articulate a clear message of response to these events. So last week in Israel, we saw threats to three sets of values that are essential to the Jewish people and to the state of Israel. First, the value that each person is created, which implies respect for the dignity of each and every human being. Second, that was threatened last week, was the value of democracy that recognizes that people of different beliefs and of different opinions can disagree without fear of harm. And lastly, the value of Kiddush Hashem, the value of sanctifying God's name, that Judaism should be a blessing and a credit to all those who speak on her behalf. So before I speak further about this, I want to show you a short clip of a video um, that brought these events to light. We're just going to see a few minutes of it, um, but I think it will help to put into perspective what it is uh, that we're trying to clarify and to explain and to understand. When a small group of people, for any reason, engage in immoral behavior that threatens the dignity and the safety of others, of children, we have to speak up and say no. And when those beliefs and behaviors begin to take over public spaces in Israel and official policies of a city government, we have to speak up and say no. And when individuals spit on and harass girls and women in the name of Judaism, it is incumbent on other Jews, on us, to speak up and say no. No, we are not going to stand by and just watch. No, we will not allow discrimination and intolerance to take over places in Israel, which is the home of all Jews. And no, we will not allow people to harass women and to terrorize children in the name of Judaism, but rather to call it what it is, a distortion of Jewish tradition and a desecration of God's name. We denounce these actions. This is not what Judaism stands for. And it's not what ultra-Orthodoxy stands for, as many ultra-Orthodox people have stepped forward to, ste to say recently. But I want to conclude with this. We say on Shabbat morning, when we put the Torah away, Durachecha darche noam, its ways are ways of pleasantness, the Chol Teha Shalom, and all its paths are peace. This is the way of Torah, and this is what commitment to Torah should bring.